I love coming back to the Rockies. Skiing in the Rocky Mountains is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Like it, it toughens you up for sure. It's cold, it's rugged, it's steep. We have amazing terrain here. So it really forces you to be on your game. And I think just growing up here is what truly built me as a skier. That's amazing, Tatum. Aww. I'm just talking about the fact that Tatum Minot is on the cover of Powder Magazine <laughs> and the entire town of Banff is celebrating around her because we locals just love her so much and she's an inspiration to us all. Aww. That's what we're talking about. Banff is in a beautiful national park in Alberta, Canada, and it is surrounded by 360 degrees of mountains and it's the most gorgeous place I've ever been to in the world. Yeah, but that's a great, great, great hill. It is. You know, for kids to learn how to ski, and then for the experts. Yeah, it's got everything. There's so many people in this community that just live for, for the mountains and live for that environment. And you take someone like Leo, he's 87 years old, and I'm 26-year-old female and we have so much in common just based off of our love for the mountains. Oh, we're not going back up. What do you think? One more then. One more? Yeah. Okay, one more. The mountains are really what brings people together in this community. My Family's store is right on Banff Avenue called Minot Sports and my grandfather started it in 1949 and it's been in the family ever since. This is the real deal here. This is like the family heritage wall. So it starts up here at my grandpa, goes down to my aunt, she was on the Canadian ski team, and my dad and my two uncles and they were on the Canadian ski team and then my dad <laughs> built this little shrine for me, which is really embarrassing, but it's kind of funny. I ski for a living. That's fun. And everybody always says, oh, you're so lucky and you have it so easy. But with what I do, it doesn't come without risk. And injury is a huge part of that. And that's something I've been dealing with now for nine months after going through a really bad crash in Alaska. Banff is just such a tight-knit community that I feel like when there's an accident or something goes wrong, everyone just rallies together. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. I guess I got a text from you that was like, I got in a major crash and you were like, it's so bad that I don't know if I'll ever be able to come back to it. Yeah, and I guess that kind of was a big concern, and still is, like part of you is like, am I ever gonna come back from this? Coming back to Banff after my accident was the only option. It's all I wanted to do. It's where my family is, my friends, my support system, and they are so good at uplifting. And even going through my injury, I've just had so much love and support from the community here that I'm like, okay, even when I'm doubting myself, I, I got this. <laughs> Like, if everyone else believes in you, it's kind of hard not to believe in yourself. I'm so lucky, and I realize that, especially when I leave Banff. I realize how lucky I am to be from Banff.